Welcome to my channel, your tutor Mariam is here. It's a 49th video of Introductory Physics 1 and the 11th video. I want to talk about the laws of motion. That is the fifth subject of Introductory Physics 1. In this video, I'm going to solve another example about the normal force and weight. This problem is a little bit different with the problems I have solved so far. So today, object make an angle with the surface. I'm going to show you how to solve this type of problems. If you are new to Introductory Physics 1 and like to learn more, hit the subscribe button and like the button. You ready? Let's get started. Here, a car with a mass of m inclined at the angle of theta. And I need to find the acceleration of car if driver is frictionless. Also, if car is released from the rest at top of the incline and the distance from the cars from bumper to the bottom of the incline is d, then I need to find out how long does it take the front bomber to uh, reach the bottom of the hill. And also I need to find the speed when it's arrived there. And the last part, I need to find out what happened if theta is equal to 90. Let's start with the part A. I like to find out what is the acceleration of the car. Let's start with that. If car doesn't make any angle with the surface, let's say this is the car, I'm going to assume it as a ball. If it doesn't make any angle, then weight going to be here and my normal force going to be upward, right? So this is the time if theta is equal to zero, right? However, here car makes an angle, so I'm assuming it should be between 10 to uh, 45 or maybe less than 45, right? So if I want to drive my W weight and normal force, I have to be uh, careful a little bit here. So let's say this one going to be my Y axis and this guy right here going to be my x-axis right then if i go with that my w weight gonna be this way and normal force gonna be uh, the opposite side of the w right and the reason i draw w like that because i have a theta right here right it's make an angle with the surface so that theta also gonna be the same theta i have here right now the rest would be the same if theta is equal to zero so it's going to be the similar problem as i have solved in the previous videos let me write it down based on the second newton's law my total f gonna be sum of the f right so the f in the y-axis gonna be a normal force minus w right and it's gonna be zero because there is no movement in y axis, correct? My w here gonna be mg cosine theta, right? And there is another component for w here, so it's gonna be mg sine theta, right? So mg sine theta gonna be in x axis and mg cosine theta gonna be in y axis. If you don't know how to write a component for the vector, I explain it in the chapter three. I'm gonna put the link below, feel free to check them out. So if I'm gonna write the second Newton's law in Y axis, it's gonna be N minus MG cosine theta. And that's gonna be equal to zero because there is no movement on uh, y direction so my n is equal to mg cosine theta so here it doesn't uh, ask me to find a normal force i just found it and my fx gonna be mg sine theta and we know that there is the movement in x uh, access because car, because car is moving right so that's gonna be ma right based on the second newton's law so 
these two m cancel out and my acceleration is equal to g sine theta right and that's going to be my final answer so in part b i need to find out how long does it take the front bumper to reach the bottom of the hill so for example if car reached to point here and there is a distance d i need to find out how long does it take right so i need to find the time here let me refresh your mind about the equation of motion in chapter 2. so there is an equation about the distance time and acceleration so y equal to half of a t square plus v t plus y naught right i explained this equation in chapter two again i'm going to put the link below feel free to check this out here it says car release from the rest that rest means that my v naught must be zero right so that part gonna be zero i'm also gonna assume this y not gonna be zero or you can say y minus y not equal to half of a t squared that's that's gonna be the same it's not gonna change your answer so this guy here gonna be my d so d gonna be equal to half of a t squared right and from the previous part, I know that my uh, A is equal to G sine theta T square, right? So if I do the little math, my T going to be equal to 2D over G sine theta. And that's going to be my final answer for part B. Then I need to find the speed when car arrives uh, at the bottom of the hill. So we know that V2 minus V02 is equal to 2A delta Y, right? So here my V0 is going to be 0 because uh, car was at the rest so v2 equal to 2 my delta y gonna be d and a is equal to g sine theta right so from that my v gonna be a square root of 2d g sine theta correct and that's gonna be my v for part b again and then it asks, what happens if theta is equal to 90? So for V, if, equal, if theta is equal to 90, then my V is going to be 2DG, right? Because sine uh, 90 is equal to 1, correct? So V is going to be a square root of 2DG. And then my T gonna be 2D over G, right? So that's gonna be my T if theta is equal to 90. So that's gonna be for part C. So what I like you to notice here is what's the meaning of uh, theta is equal to 90? What it means is like this is my surface an object is right here right so the angle between the object and surface here gonna be 90 degree right which gonna be the free fall acceleration and also if you look at this equation right here these are the equation for free fall acceleration I hope you find this video interesting and it helps you to solve your problems in your exam and homework if you like my video, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.